Well, good day, tubes. How's she hanging? So we're just on the uh, the iPhone today. Uh, I was just out to. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I was just out to TSC, and our TSC generally doesn't have stuff like this. <laughs> um, we got a Reese. Oh, can't quite see that, but Reese brake controller feller and uh, I got a seven way hang on I can't see it. it's too dark seven way connector and connector so that's the female side uh, yeah we're just on the iPhone today so I just uh, try my best to uh, keep you in the shot here open. So this is for Buick, Cadillac, Chevrolet, GMC, Hummer, Infiniti, Isuzu, Kia, Nissan, Old Saab, or Saab, Subaru, Toyota. Uh-oh, but not John Deere. Uh-oh, shit still worked though. <laughs> it's just the plug I need. Oh, it comes with a sweet adapter thing too. That actually might be, uh, might come in handy maybe if I can, uh, figure out how to uh, get her mounted. I guess that's the way. So that'll be our little plug dewey. Uh, I can't honestly 100% say if I'm going to have to use this little bracket or not, but that's pretty sweet. Uh, so there's the, the deweys we're after in there. And uh, that's good, and then brake controller here. Hopefully, uh, hopefully she'll be all right. Uh, let's try to stand these up just a hair more here. Hang on. Bear with me. I don't have a proper stand for my iPhone thingy. So this is also uh, made by Reese Hitch stuff. And uh, I'm just not 100% sure if this is going to be good, as in watertight. But uh, the only thing I'm after is uh, a little push button here. So if I need to feel like the trailer is going to be pushing me or something, I can just start putting that on a little bit. And then, you know, if I have to, right up and she'll hopefully lock the brakes up on the trailer. I just have to figure out the wiring stuff. I won't be able to, of course, use that plug. Uh, where are you? Sorry, that plug. I'll have to probably just cut the wires and then uh, splice them in, kind of thing, to uh, get some wiring into this thing. Although that's still not going to be. That's not exactly what I need. I just looked at that now. Darn it. I guess it'll work if I use the little push push on things here, it might, I don't know, I never looked at that end of it, uh, I kind of need the one that comes apart, let's just get out some connectors here, it's not exactly the best way to do it, yeah that might work, they're not, uh, it's not going to be super awesome though, but I only need, I think, maybe two, maybe three wires out of that. I have to read the directions here. Um, these little things will push on, but it really doesn't give you a good connection. I might... Oh, that might work, actually. If you can get it right... Where are you? It's here. Stupid iPhone. If you can get her... Oh, I still can't see that. But anyways, if you can get it right down the center, it's, it's actually on there pretty good. I can't get it off now. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so that might work. That's good, although they're all labeled there too, so. But, uh, yeah, anyway, so that's what I got there today for the trailer stuff. And uh, um, I'm not going to mount it today, I don't think. I'm just going to uh, look at the stuff today and see if I can figure this out. shouldn't be too hard, I don't think. And uh, somehow to keep this dry... But also accessible if I need it. I don't know. 
I don't imagine if I got water in that it would uh, go over too well. <laughs> I wonder if I sprayed it in something, you know, like a rubberized stuff or something. Maybe not too good on the buttons here because you'd want to maybe change your gain up and down. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I'll uh, look at the directions here and uh, see what we can figure out. But, uh, yeah, there's the... Uh, there's this then. I guess that's actually supposed to plug into a wire harness, so I should probably get get the actual thing, and then it should come out from there with a plug to like the wires, right? That would probably be a little more substantial, but of course they don't have. They sell all this stuff here, but they don't sell wire. So I'm like, oh, that's that's fantastic. So, <laughs> and I don't know if that's like a universal plug too, or if I'm going to have to uh, get a specific Reese one or a whole new one of these again, maybe too, just to make her work. So. Um, yeah, that does kind of suck, but anyways, we'll uh, figure that out. So I'm going to read some, some of these constructions here and uh, see what it's telling me. All right, this is looking pretty straightforward. We've got, it uh, looks like I'm going to need three of these four. Actually, I don't need the red. Red is stoplight. I don't have that on my tractor, so I can't use that. Uh, black is vehicle power. I presume you need that to power the unit and stuff, which makes sense. Um, blue is trailer brakes, and white is ground. So I presume what it does is it takes the full 12, uh, 12 volt power from the black into this unit, and depending how you set up your your gain and stuff here for you know, I guess it goes from whatever numbers it goes to from zero to probably a hundred or whatever. Um, you set the gain on here and then this, you would turn that if you want the brakes to quench, but then with your gain set, it's only gonna put out so much power through the blue wire to your trailer brakes on the trailer. I think that's how they work. So that's pretty slick. I think that should, uh, should be able to mount up pretty good. All I would have to do is mount this on the tractor, run, uh, 12 volt to uh, the black and run the blue back through into the trailer plug thingy I've got there, the other seven pin plug and uh, ground I guess this white vehicle ground, ground that out to somewhere on the tractor so that would kind of complete a circuit thing right so I think that's Fairly straightforward. It's too bad I just can't, you know, plug and play. But uh, I don't have this stuff on my tractor, so that's not going to work. So we'll uh, now. Let me think here. Black vehicle power. Black. I've got lots of black wire. Lots of that up there. Um, blue. I've got some blue. It's not quite the exact same blue, so that's good. Um, and then white. We'll just get grounded out to the tractor somewhere. Under a bolt or a nut or something like that should be good. And I do believe I've got no white. Well, I've got a little chunk of white there, but um, I can figure something out. Normally you would use green. It's kind of weird how they got things colored here because normally like red would be positive, right? Positive. Sometimes black or green is ground and then blue, I can sort of understand that, but yeah, so I think that should work, and then we just have to figure out how to, uh, where to put this out, it'll be accessible for me to reach if I need, and um, where to, uh, what to do to kind of, sort of, you know, make it watertight, because you don't kind of need that, I don't know. I'm going to be digging holes out in the rain. It's not always a nice day, you know, so I kind of need this thing to be watertight-ish if I can possibly get it-ish. So I don't know what, I don't know what to say on that because I'm pretty sure these things won't last long if they get wet. So I'll have to figure that out. Uh, that's another thing we're going to need for this is, uh, it says in the thing here anyways, uh, where was it here now? Materials required. 10 gauge wire, 30 amp auto reset circuit breaker. So we got one of those. 
ear. I'll just chop her and join her in. 30 amp. I've got uh, a new package of them here. I think there's a 30 in there somewhere, so we'll have to use those. I know I got a pack of them somewhere too here, and I just can't put my finger on it right now. It's here somewhere. <laughs> but uh, all right, so that's that's good. All right, so a 30 amp fuse. That seems a little high, but. Um, I guess that'll work. Uh, yeah, so that'll get snipped and then put in the uh, the main feed line. So that would be again the black wire vehicle power. So from here to where I'm going to hook it onto the tractor for power, we'll uh, put that inline fuse in too, just in case. Although the tractor itself should have a circuit breaker, but it all depends how I hook it up. If I run a, a new line or if I splice it off of something else. I might have to run just a new line for this. It sounds like it's going to take a bit of juice here. So, uh, yeah, it should be good. So, I think that's everything. I think that's everything we should need. This thing also has uh, gain and sink. And gain is what how much power is sent to the brake. Sink, sink control adjusts the trailer brake aggressiveness. Aggressiveness, uh, the trailer brakes become more aggressive as the sync button. So I guess if this is meant for in your vehicle, if you put the sync up more, 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 as soon as you touch the, the, the brakes on your vehicle, these will come on like real fast, real hard kind of thing. So it's kind of almost like a gain thing too. It's just, this will come on a lot sooner. I don't even think I'm gonna need that part. I don't think it's gonna do anything anyways. It's just gonna be the gain I need. Uh, gain, uh, the output gain control establishes the maximum amount of power available to the trailer brakes. So if I only put on a little bit, it's only going to get like two volts and it's only going to put, you know, two volts of power to the magnets on the brakes that activate the, the shoes, right? Uh, so the more gain I put, the more power it's going to put to it and it's going to squeeze them even better. So hopefully it works good. So that should work, I think, pretty good. So I'm just trying to find a good spot to mount this thing where it's going to maybe stay dry or ish There's like really nowhere to mount this thing. Oh. I was thinking maybe, maybe right here and I just have to reach down with my left and then, you know, left hand and then shh. That wouldn't be too bad because I'd be pulling it towards me. Um, it would be best maybe right up front here. Then I might hamper where the, you know, where the when the hood opens because I think it comes up here a little bit. Uh, maybe even right there would be all right. I could just you know. Shh. But then again, it's kind of all out in the elements, right? I think it's going to get water in there. It's going to get water in there and wreck that thing. So that's not so good. So there isn't really anywhere. Super really good to mount this where it's going to stay dry. This would be actually really good right here. And I can just reach over and then... Hmm. I wonder if I could just put that thing like in a bag. Oh, sorry, in a bag or something. Still be able to activate that thing and I could just kind of attach it to the handle here or something, right? Flopping around and stuff though. I may not be good for it, but that'd be pretty handy right there. You could just... Brakes. <laughs> I don't know. This thing being not really water proofish. I don't think it is, but anyways, we'll have to figure something out for that. Oh, geez, sorry. And as in for this thing, that actually might. Kind of dark back here. I'm sorry. This little thing actually might uh, might mount right onto this pretty close here. There's already holes in the thing, so I think that would work pretty good as long as the thing would reach. I'd have to have the trailer hooked on there to make sure that's going to reach there. I'm going to have to try to figure some kind of extension for the, for the trailer. But uh, we'll have to uh, we'll have to figure that out. 
that or uh, mm, might have to mount it backwards maybe uh, something kind of like this if I can get her back in here have the tabs well, that's gonna be a heck of a lot to drill through though <laughs> that's a really thick hunk of steel I don't know I guess wherever the shortest distance would be would be where we're gonna have to mount it and I should be able to get power and stuff fairly close here uh, boy oh boy I don't know not sure where I want to go with this yet and uh, I think there is some power under the seats here. There's a bunch of stuff already here for what is what, I don't know. There's a bunch of like dead-ended plugs here, so I guess that's for wiring up some other kind of light system or if you had a, a probably a cab put on this, it would, uh, that's probably what the wires would be for that, all this stuff, so. I might be able to get uh, power right off of that. It's the right size wire. You have to have a 10 gauge wire, which is pretty beefy. This is just all going to the light, so that'll be small stuff. So I might have to run a new wire back from exactly where, I don't know. Don't know yet. Where and run it down through so it doesn't get caught on anything. Might, I might be able to get something here if I open this up here. It's kind of dark. I can't really see too much right here right now. But I don't know. We'll have to get into that and see what we can see what we can find. But I think that's what that's for is uh, other lights and stuff. Uh, I don't think they're labeled really. No, not really labeled at all. So corn fusing a little bit. Um, okay, so. Also as well. Oh, hang on, I gotta put you down in a second. There. Also as well. Yeah, see that would have interfered by that controller up there. Yeah, I don't like it up there. I kinda like it down on that little panel there. That might actually work. So I think this here is the nerve system <laughs> of the of the machine. <laughs> really? Not something there you just can't get around. Oh, they're micro fuses too. And it sort of tells me what they are here. So polar spare 30 amp. So these, where are we here? Sorry, these are the spares. Spare, spare, all this whole corner's spare stuff. High, low, and floodlight 30 amp is that one. And it's not nothing in there right now. Start 5 amp. Oh, no. Hang on. Yeah, those are just empty bays. 30 amp, right there. High and FL 30 amp outlet 15 amp little cigarette lighter on it the one behind the 15 there on the far side engine 10 amp this side's a five for starting WA I think that's warning maybe 10 amp and uh, HL and TL 15 amp more light stuff. At the very last 15 there so and these are little circuit breaker things here I'm not too sure probably for the injector stuff maybe I don't know yeah there's three three uh what you columns that are are naked right there or uh empties four empties and then four spares and then a little puller that's kind of nice and then I think these are just empty sockets yeah, there's nothing in them, no plug thingies. So, it's not going to work too well there. I'm going to have to do like an inline fuse, I guess. Which will work, but for somewhere, somewhere in and around here, I'm going to find power. They're done up very well, too. 
One of these circuits actually might be for um, starting glowing stuff, although it doesn't have glow plugs apparently on this. Uh, apparently they don't. I don't know. It does show a symbol on there, glow plugs, but uh, I don't know. So I might have to uh, find a good circuit here somewhere. We'll just run right up through to the battery maybe. Could do that too, I guess, and just... Uh, I really want to do the light. I don't know. I'm gonna have to do some routing here, I guess, and find a a good source. But we may just have to tee into something on the back. That would kind of work, I would think, and uh, go from there. Okay, I've been looking some stuff over, testing some stuff. I had this jumble of wires apart here, and most of it's actually going to these lights on the side. There's uh a few lights on each side of that and then there's only uh basically two sets of these one i think would be like it's a little bit bigger probably be uh, headlights or you know roof mounted lights and then uh more four-way stuff lots of extra wires there but uh you would have to use them when the lights are on so that's not so good looking looking through here there isn't really anything anywhere to really attach anything to except Maybe right onto the alternator here. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, though. Um, I could undo that, put another ring ring terminal on there, and then run the power back to the box. I can do it that way. I could do it off the starter too, but I think I'd rather do it off the uh, off the alternator here. Um, it was charging at 13.55 volts when I had it running there, so. I thought that was pretty good. That would probably give her enough juice. So we run that a little circuit breaker in here somewhere and then back to the back or maybe run it back. Circuit breaker back there maybe. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. But uh, after that, there's everything's all sealed up and I don't really want to start cutting things apart. It'd be just easier to undo the terminal there and then just put another ring on. I think that should do her. So maybe tomorrow. I don't know. It's supposed to pour rain all day tomorrow. I've got a dig a grave one of these times here soon i want to try the new trailer but i just don't want to do it like a an extra day ahead right so we're just going to leave her for today i guess um other than that not much else i can think of uh i'll have to work on this uh i don't know one of these days like i say tomorrow is supposed to be a good rainy day so maybe maybe tomorrow but uh, i'm gonna have to get up the crack of dawn the crack of stupid we call it on uh Thursday because I got an 11 o'clock graveside I think it is or maybe it's a chapel service 11 o'clock to do so that'll be the initial run for that thing hopefully she all works good I'm gonna try my best to remember to keep a load of stuff for you guys uh, so we can see her dump it may also may I may also keep a load in there and just back in and then dump back in the hole so that would pretty darn near half fill up a good hole I think so that's gonna be awesome should be if this thing will this thing will probably pull it fine forwards but backing up I've had problems with my other trailer backing up. It's not so good. So, <laughs> but anyways, I guess uh, we'll leave that till then. And uh, that's the only thing I can think where to hook that on is right on that uh, alternator little stud dewy. So I think that's maybe where she's gonna she's gonna land. So we did a little bit of drawer organizing today too. I was. Looking for something in the drawer here, and I'm like, oh, this is stupid. I got too much too much stuff in here I don't use, so I tore everything out, vacuumed out the drawer, and uh, put all my boxes back in of all this uh, this stuff, you know. This is like, uh, oh, what do we got here? Like cotter pins, tying pins, some O-rings. I think those are more cotter pins. Uh, more O-rings and stuff. Some E-clips, some hairpin clippy things. Grease, grease uh, fitting stuff. I think it's more O-rings. I think back here I got some little spring spring pins. So it's all PA. So now roll pins they call these. So now we're a little more horrible organized. And I put them up this way so I could kind of see through. And, oh, I need. Uh, okay, I need. Uh, okay, oh, I need those. I think I still better go through and, you know, like, organize them as to what they actually are. Like, you know, those are all them things, time pins, 
those things, you know, a little more, a little more organized. Looks a little better too. Uh oh. <laughs> What's going on? I think they uh, had a problem yesterday with their uh, uh, bucket truck cutting branches. But back here, they, uh, I guess, shut her off, went to start her up, and then. Uh, she no go. The starter was screwed, and there's been a service guy in I think three times now, and I think that truck's still sitting back there. Now this guy's looking to tow him out, I guess. Really don't like big, big trucks like that in here, but anyways, we have to get him out, I guess. Probably looking for them. I think if we look back by the flag, uh, okay, so there's the flag. Okay, so. Right in the center of your screen, if I can hold her still, you can just see the boom of the truck there. So see the flag just to the left a bit. Above the stone, so a little bit. See the round bally stone? It's just above that. Sorry, I can't hold her still enough. So, yeah. Hook her up, tow her out, bud. Uh-oh, dead truck. And a pull-in truck. That's pretty awesome. He's gonna probably scoop under that, pick it up. I don't know how they drive them backwards, but anyways. Sweet. Good bud. Ooh, back. Ooh, you're gonna smash him.
goes. Anywho, that's about it for today. Uh, yeah, so I got some ring terminals here. That'll work pretty good for, I think, joining those. That should, should be good. I got those ones too, but I think they're too small in the center. It's probably going to be that guy. So I think maybe, I don't know. I, I like to, you know, make better connections, but I mean, that'll work. I think it'll be that one there, so. Tomorrow, maybe we'll tackle that. See if we can get some brakes working on the trailer. I just don't know what to do to weatherize that. Because they don't even mention on here, oh, do not get wet, but, but I imagine it's, you know, it's in your vehicle, so they're not expecting it to get wet, right? So, anyways. That's it for today. Have yourselves a good day, and we will catch you tomorrow.